So before we go ahead and get on into the video, I'd like to just say that I am still continuing the 15,000 subscriber giveaway. I hit 15,000 subscribers a couple days ago, and since that video, you guys have got me over 250 subs. I thank you guys so much. Again, we are going to do a bond giveaway. Another one. So to be entered into that, just like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your RSN in a comment down below. And the bond winner from the last video is Katniss, so feel free to contact me in-game whenever you want to go ahead and grab your bond. With that said, thank you guys so much, but let's go ahead and get on into the video. Today we are here with a video in which I will be going over 1 through 99 smithing in regards to the efficient ways to go about it and how you should personally go about training it because efficiency is all really relevant based on what you are able to do within the game. So with that said, let's go ahead and get on into it. Basically with smithing, what you're going to want to do, 1 through 29 should be taken away through the Knight Sword quest. You can easily complete this quest very early within the game and it gets you all the way to 29. After that, if you do 9 iron two-handed swords, you will be able then to get to 30 and then that's where really it primarily kicks off with smithing. Should you be doing stuff like steel and just smithing random items, or should you be going to blast furnace and actually smelting your bars? Now, before we even get on into this, I'm going to tell you the answer is blast furnace all the way. There's no comparison. Uh, really, anything that you end up smithing is either going to be way too costly to be actually worth the time you're going to save, and anything that actually is somewhat, you know, GP efficient is going to be so slow that it's just not worth it in any efficient sense to do. So, uh, one through 30 smithing you will do through the quest and the nine iron swords as I said before but this is where we are going to kick off 30 through 99 smithing is really where the efficient routes take their forks in the road so that's really what we're going to do I'm going to go ahead now and go through 1 through 99 and the ways that you should go about getting it so we will begin with the level requirements basically these are the real milestones as far as smithing levels are concerned and, and where you really progress onto a new bar so these are going to be points of interest as far as steel you unlock it at 30 gold ores unlocked at 40 40, mithril at 50, Addy at 70, and Rune at 85. So those are going to be the real milestones that you'll be looking to reach, and those levels are where we're going to be switching methods. Now as far as our plan for 99 smithing, this is what we are going to be doing. So basically, you're going to want to go from 30 to 40 no matter what with steel bars. But then at 40, you have a real decision to make whether or not steel bars are worth it compared to gold. Gold are going to be more expensive but get you more XP, while steel will actually make you money and be a lot less XP per hour. Now once you get to 50, it really the comparisons mithril to gold and then at 70 it is adamant to gold so same thing really here uh, you're profiting with mithril addy and rune and you're also getting less xp with all of them and then from 85 to 99 you have rune versus gold these are really the routes that you're going to go for 99 smithing and what we're going to do is compare which one's more efficient now as far as how many bars you can make per hour this is really important obviously into the calculations here's just the amount of bars that you can make for all of them 3100 for steel 5000 gold 2400 mithril 1500 rune and 1800 adamant those are really the rates that you can get per hour so those are the stats that we'll be using going forward now based off of those bars per hour rates that i just gave you basically it comes out to the stats that you can see here steel bars are able to get 54.3k xp per hour and you're able to profit 403k per hour for only needing 30 smithing pretty good i would say overall um, on top of that gold bars which is going to be the main xp one but obviously the main loss one is 280k xp per hour pretty much all of these rates are assuming that you have ice gloves gold gauntlets in the case of gold and also on top of that coal bags in the case of the bars now as you guys can see here the mithril is 72k xp per hour and you're able to get 440k gp back so not too bad at all you know, whenever you compare that to the addy it's really strange as at well i mean it makes sense whenever you think about it because the rates work out but mithril is just better in xp and barely worse in gp so mithril is actually more efficient to do than addy currently so there's not really a lot of ladders to climb as soon as you unlock mithril that's about the rates that you'll be expecting through 99 for the most part relatively comparable to addy and rune both now as we stated earlier 30 through 40 you're just going to want to do steel bars so there's no comparison there so the real comparison starts whenever you hit level 40 and you go to level 50 smithing at this time you have the decision between steel bars or gold bars and if you end up doing steel you have to make 3.6 thousand and in total it'll take you about 71 minutes so a little bit over an hour and you'll end up making close to 500k profit while if you compare that to doing these 10 levels with gold Gold, it'll take about 1.1 thousand bars so definitely save you a lot of time 14 minutes total is how long it's gonna take you and you'll come in at a 230k loss which isn't too much considering you're gaining 10 levels overall it's worth it for you if you can actually make more than 
142k per hour to go ahead and do the gold bar method instead of the steel bars. Moving on to level 50 to level 70 smithing, here you will be comparing really gold bars to mithril bars. The overall amount of mithril bars you'll have to make from level 50 to 70 is 21.2 thousand compared to gold which is 11.3 thousand. Overall time spent with mithril bars is 8.8 .8 hours and you make 4 mil profit. Comparing that to the gold bars which would be 2 and 1 fourths hour and uh, overall you'd lose about 2.3 mil. So gold ore is worth it if you are able to make more than 944k per hour. Most people probably are at least decently high level players. Uh, anyone probably below 85, 90 combat probably can't attain a mil per hour so it's more likely probably worth it for you to go ahead and do mithril bars. 70 to 85 smithing obviously as I said earlier is going to be done with mithril bars again it does seem quite strange that eddy bars aren't actually more XP per hour at least significantly to make up for that 10k extra GP that you'd be able to make per hour really not worth it and mithril bars are still going to be the way to go if you want to be efficient level 70 to 85 though you're going to have to make 84,000 mithril bars this is coming at a total of 35 hours and a 15.4 mil profit so that's a pretty hefty uh, set of cash if you want to go ahead and leave smithing at 85 as a noob you can definitely do it with a decent amount of money um, on top of that if you actually want to go and splash out some cash to be able to get your smithing up quick uh, 45,000 gold ores how many it's going to take you and it's going to take nine hours and at a mil per hour loss obviously nine mil loss in that time as well overall gold ore is going to be worth it if you can make more than 938k per hour as you would expect pretty close to our number from last time considering we're comparing the same two bars and now on to our final comparison this is going to be rune bars and rune bars you're actually going to make more money on off of not substantially more but overall basically 85 through 99 smithing you will be making 195,520 room bars so definitely just going to be a ton of time but with that 130 hours that you're going to spend going from 85 to 99 you'll also be able to make 60 mil so that could be some heavy cash for someone starting up an account that wants to go ahead and look for a skill to do smithing can make you a ton of money but at that same time if you want to go ahead and do gold and just get it out of the way you're gonna to have to do 174,000 gold bars and on top of that that's going to take you about 35 hours obviously saving you 95 compared to the alternative and it does come in a loss of 35 mil gold ore is worth it if you can make more than 982k per hour so if you're just a fresh noob coming off and just looking for a quick 99 smithing mithril bars and rune bars may be your way to go considering they're really profitable and if you don't have a lot of high other skills it's going to be worth your time to do it while the alternative is really just people that are coming in late game to smithing probably higher pvm to your people that just never got around to skilling for most of those people anyone over 90 100 combat you can make a mil per hour so it's going to be worth for you to just grind out smithing doing gold bars because you'll be able to make more money in your time doing pvm or spent elsewhere so that is really it so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, hopefully you guys find something that's going to be useful for you, whether or not you want to go ahead and just bust out smithing the profitable way, or whether you want to just make a little bit of money on the side while you do it. Either one, definitely a good route, and for a lot of players, it's kind of borderline whether or not it's worth it for you. So hopefully this video is able to help you out, and help you figure really which way is going to be best for you. With that said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. If there's anything you guys want to tell me, leave a comment down below. Also, giveaway, so feel free to comment your RSN down there as well. And on top of that, subscribe to the channel just to be informed as far as what's going on in the future. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and